right, today I'm on a service call. This uh, boiler is making a little bit of noise. Let's see what's going on. Once upon a time, I shut down the radiant because it leaks in the ground. Oh, oh. <clears throat> shelves in my way, so it's more bad. The whole door I might have to rip out. I have a lot of water in here. What's going on? Water's dripping. Would it be dripping off of over there? If it was dripping. That's showing I have 30 pounds of pressure. Oh my. Coming from the inducer. I'm hearing a pump. <sighs> yeah, let's swap this thing. off. I have a new limit. Awesome, I love finding these. It's mine. Bigger, three eighths for that boot. I'm gonna be upset if I do all this work. It turns out the heat exchanger is toast. back there. I 
and then some gurgling. A lot of gurgling. We'll find out where all that air is trapped. Can't really see, but I'll feel when I get on. Fast one. I also feel that I got a, the wrong size. <laughs> It was a quarter inch on 516, so I couldn't get it on. straight on this but we'll go right around stuff here <clears throat> I love this thing by Milwaukee call me a fanboy call me whatever you want Milwaukee, get my job done. I'm not gonna say the Walt one's no good for the night for the offset I've never owned it I like this one I've had this for many years this is probably one of the first ones on the market A G61 Linux furnace. Good luck getting a flame sensor out, something like that. So much water stuck in here. It's almost like it's not draining. Here's the bottom of the inducer stuck on here. Maintenance, I don't know if it's still in the truck. There's the old gasket. Let the file is down. It's not making a good seal. That rubber gasket, I think, is still kind of stuck on here. But I got most of this crap out of there. Do another straight jack. Me off. Well, I just go to WD, but well, everybody hates me using WD. So I'm gonna almost as bad as me talking politics me talking about using wd-40 as a penetrant or a cleaner or anything it seems like in this world if you use wd-40 it's almost like you're a snowflake uwd-40 seems to work but hey who am i to know anything about what works I don't know anything, I just do it. So, for me to know WD-40 helps break rust, I have no clue. Seems to work. But I say I use it for that, oh my goodness, I'm super bad. Do I care? No. There's a shitty bolt dying on me, full charge. 
Fairly used it. This piece of crap on the bed. I wish I had my no fuck you in a few in there. Yeah, battery lasts forever. I'm sorry, man, it's over now just because, I mean, I have two bars. I've had two bars for like almost like three weeks now. Goes to one and then comes back to two. These. This one's starting to wear out after many uses. These are great brushes you can get for a few bucks. Look at that. It recharged itself. I love what you know. It fooled me. Boom, dead. <laughs> it had power, now it's dead. It's friggin' 20 volts. Biggest scam ever. 20 volt max. Yeah, it's max. It's an 18 volt. Why don't they just say it's an 18 volt battery? Why they gotta say 20? And how many amp power is this piece of dog crap? That's a true thing. Where's my Where's my amperage on my battery? How many amps? 1.5 amp hour. Okay, as a cleaner, Jack seems to do okay. I shouldn't mix chemicals now. So remember, when you're when you're working and stuff, never mix chemicals if you don't know exactly what's in them. Alright? Never mix chemicals. I got people like, hey, I've been doing that forever. I understand. You can do all you want. I just have to say that. <laughs> if I don't say that, somebody mixes <sighs> two different things you should never mix, and, well, they get a reactive substance. And then they're like, hey, well, he said I could do it. No, I didn't. <laughs> I never said to do it. I never said to put bleach and ammonia together. I never once, but somebody's going to go, hey... This guy said I can do it. He said mix chemicals. And we all know right and wrong. I mean, somebody still is able to sue McDonald's for burning themselves with hot tea. Go figure. They hot coffee. So, let me get this right. They didn't know that the coffee was hot. of it. So plugged up. This piece was plugged. Okay. All right. Put that back together. All right. So let's get this thing in now. We've cleaned it all up. I can't use this because I don't have any drains to connect to these, and I don't know if these will stay on too well in that boiler situation. I would have liked to have used it, but. It looks like I'm also, my wires aren't even going to match, so. Let's put our gasket down. It's looking almost 
the same space all the way around so that my inducer goes down on it it's going to squeeze i have a limit switch on here a nice bx cable got a three prong plug i don't have a three prong plug on here so this is definitely not oem i don't care i will make whatever i'm giving work fitting for a later date. The boiler has no kill switch. It's amazing. redhead <laughs> sorry throttle I'm gonna do this my way I still haven't broke down and bought a BX cutter on here. I should chop down even more. I know. 20 bucks, 40 bucks on the tool. I say I never use it. And guess what? Here's more BX I'm trimming up. Play with that later. First, let's get this in there. All right, drop something metal. That was a fell in the back. up to all my holes. And my clamp is still there. Aha! That's why I got new bolts. Come up with a new thing. I thought I'd get away with the ones over here. white pipe is probably going to block everybody's sight. What do they do about it? Not much. That fastener started. Never crank these 100 This thing is like the perfect height just to prevent anybody from seeing.
I'm not finding that hole, so this one may be just a little easier. straight still. I'm not tightening it. I have to somehow get I might have got it. That might just be where it has to go. Some ladies upstairs. Huh? Some ladies upstairs. Lady? Yeah. Yeah. Um, upstairs somewhere. What? Joe Monty? I don't know Joe Monty. Huh? I don't know Monty at all. I don't know any of the Montys. I don't know. They hate, they hate whoever put the unit in. They hate. All right. So you know how bad this radiant heat is in the floor. <laughs> yeah, this thing's got an internal leak in the floor right now. The heat tubes in the floor. Yeah, no, Joe doesn't own this house though anymore. No, it's a different owner. I'm not sure what their last name is. Yeah, they've had this house for a couple of years now, the new owners. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, everything coming off of this that goes for the whole downstairs floor. It's got a leak somewhere in the floor. So we've abandoned it and shut it down. What? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Do you still live around here? Yeah. Uh, where'd he move to? Oh, Joe, I don't know. That's what I thought you were going to see. Nah, he moved. <laughs> it is getting old. Yeah, we getting old. Yeah, everybody's getting old. I don't know, man. Six, six, six years old. Oh, yeah? You still building houses? Yeah. You still building houses at 66? Yeah. I can't wait to get to there, but I just hope that when I finally get to retire, my body's healthy enough that I can still move around and I destroy my knees and back. Because unfortunately, a lot of guys, when they get to that point, their bodies wore out. Yeah, I've worked that four years. Yeah. Yeah, I know too many guys, they try to retire and they can't. And then they keep trying to do little odds and end jobs. They can't do the big projects they used to do, but they try. Just because they can't, they you get bored. I guess a lot of people get bored. I work in the construction. I work in the construction. I sit down there. Uh, I work in the construction. Yeah. 60, 20 there. Oof. So I do right? Yeah. That's all I've been doing. I've been for 20 years. Oh, wow. New York City construction? I have a choice. Yeah, that's high up in the air. What were you doing? A lot of like Fort Lee, like Edgewater stuff, stuff with taller buildings. North Bergen, yeah. Because I mean, a lot of here doesn't have that stuff that high, but you got a lot of high rise apartments and a lot of buildings. Oh, yeah? Uh, on the outside or inside? Outside. Oof. Uh, at least you could do it. I don't know if I could be that. Uh, uh, 
Oh yeah. No, not the, not the company you had. Yeah. Done at two or three, right? Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to watch the sun in the summertime, 18 hours a day. At the 9, 10 o'clock in the night. Yeah. One day I was at no bugging. I got these guys that want to move it out of the yard with the pieces. Yeah. On the back, on the back of it, what about the inside of the, inside the building? Yeah. They're like, what's it, it raining? What's it, 9 o'clock in the night? <laughs> 11 o'clock in the night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've had many days starting at seven in the morning, not finishing till somewhere around like midnight, one in the morning. You're still a young kid. What? You're still a young. I know, but you know what? I just spent all last week doing that. It takes a little while to get over a hundred hour work week. I don't care how young or old you are, you spend a hundred hours out there working straight for one week. It takes about a week to recover. <laughs> I was working ninety hours a week. Yeah, well, I do that too at times, but like I said, when you do a ninety or a hundred hour week, you need a few days to kind of get over. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, take care. If you sit down, it's a needle solo. All right. If I see Joe, I'll tell him. Needle solo. All right. Where's my wine? Do they still make wine? Joey does. Yeah. Oh, you're hoping he had some wine. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm sure I'll see you around. All right. All right. She's a, I think it's a real estate or in storage. She's still over there. I haven't been to that house on the corner. No, I haven't been there. She's a oil storage or is real estate? Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't got to do anything there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A window company? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you built the houses. You're in. The, you're in the neighborhood often, so. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully not, but. Yeah. I hope if I make it that long, I can still move around. I hope if I can make it that long, I can still move around. I hope my body doesn't break down completely on me. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere to ground this. Limits plugged in, plug this in. The clip's busted on that side, but. This is gonna need to get grounded somewhere.
first things first. Fan is on. Everything is connected here. Interesting thing here. This pipe facing the back of the unit. The relief is just aimed at the wall. Next time I hop up a little, I'll show. To adjust the PRB valve since my setting is almost at nothing. Nil. Can't have it set. Now of course the whole thing comes out. This side you need so when you're adjusting it. Screwdriver in this room, so gonna have to we're gonna tighten this. Make sure the pumps on. Pull the pin out. And let me get something to get in there and turn it. So I can only go so far with my fingers. See where this stops with a cold boiler. You always want to set your pressure when the boiler's cold, not when you have a hot boiler. I'm also curious what fell <laughs> behind the boiler. Something fell back there. You got a leaking packing nut. Okay, but I'm not hearing it feed anymore. Whew. We'll close this. This right here is reading the same as right here, so I don't have to worry about this too much. Let's get the boiler back on. on that hmm. let's go turn it back on so the breaker I shot off was the one just didn't kill my pumps which is strange they hot wired around here for your keyboard commandos so you can tell me that I did it wrong I didn't spec down the torque to 1.2 kilowatts of fudge packing torque ah, here we go all right we got 1.2 kilowatts of fudge packing torque on that boiler time the lights are going in the igniter as well as the pressure switch makes as long as I reconnected it. Keyword reconnected it. Okay. The board even tells you what it's doing over there. There goes my pressure switch. See it's starting to blow in there. Now my pressure my my uh, igniter. I'm retarded whatever. We have ignition. Here. Well, that's great. Let's shut it off. It's great to have ignition. So we don't have a drain connected. Yeah, let's put this back on. 
Yeah, I can't really. You know what? If you guys can't see it, you're gonna have to just deal with it. I can't do my job and show you, so. It's either I show you guys and I'll fight with this for an hour or I just do it and then you guys just don't see it. Sorry. Gotta make a presidential decision now. Yeah, you know, you guys see me put a little plastic clamp on it. This isn't that important. Okay. So it is killing the pumps. I shouldn't be upset with all that loud noise anymore. Just have to make sure. Last forever. Cap back on. Looks like it's something that came out of a kid toy set. Starting to put stuff away. I looked over here. This is full of sand and crap. That's why the water was all backed up. Inside my exhaust. <clears throat> Quickly pinch, pinch, pinch. I think I got most of that junk. I can't see what I'm doing, but just clearing these drain hoses. Uh, that looks clear. It's lined up, but it's clear. Okay, I gotta reconnect everything. And this one. It's lined up clear. Alright. Just right back on the heat exchanger. these things out every year on your maintenance is a lot of people don't and then they get like this let's see one clamp
Oh, I cleared that out. So didn't want to take a chance of that causing problems. The seat's gonna gurgle a little. It's just empty. It'll fill up in no time. in those traps. My girdle's gonna go bye-bye. That could have led possibly to death. Burn. It's making water. It was also making water until I turned it off. Where's the missing screw? Missing screw again. I seem to have lost this glue. What else is there? <laughs> Whatever. Just one screw. I'll find it. I'll be underneath my mat. I'll get with my truck. Cold quits. Any water leaking from here. Got a good seal. Seal on my clamp in the back. Yeah. Let's run for another minute or so, then I'll shut it off. So we let it run for a few minutes and stop it. When it stops, water has now filled up most of the piping. This thing's been producing water, so. Oh. The door on. There's the fan, no gurgling. I filled up all those tubing with water. Well, thanks for joining me on this adventure. <sighs> Till next time.